in the parking lot today, but you got to encourage yourself in the Lord. You got to lift your head up and say, God has me covered. And even though I'm going through difficult times, I'm going through an uncertain future. I know who holds my head. I know who made tomorrow. And as long as God is holding me, I won't let go of my faith. Then he says something that's significant in verse 20. After but was strengthened in his faith, he gives glory to God. Gives glory to God. See, it's easy to praise God when things are going well. It's easy to praise him with you after you get the blessing. But how many of us can give glory to God before the promise is fulfilled? As a matter of fact, we got some folk out here today in the parking lot. You ought to give God some glory. If you don't mind lifting your hand up, give him a high five. Give him thank you, Lord. If it had not been for you, where would I be? Bless the Lord at all times. And praise us. Now continually, in my mouth, give him the glory. Hello, somebody. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us worship. Let us exalt his name together.
carry hope, know what not to consider. Don't waver in your faith at the promise. Give God glory. Then verse 21 tells us these words. I want you to leave here today being fully persuaded of verse 21. It says, and being fully convinced. Somebody say fully, not halfway, fully. but fully convinced that what God had promised, he was also able, hey, that's shouting time right there. He's also able to perform it. God is able to do what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you.
still in the business of opening doors. He's still in the business of delivering us. Doesn't matter whose fault it was. God says, when you're my child, I will open the door for you. So now let's go to God. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that you're still in our midst. Even though many of the promises, God, that we are waiting for, they seem to be tarrying for a little while. But God, according to your word, it shall come to pass. Lord, help us not to grow weary in well-doing while we're waiting. But help us to keep our eyes on the prize, to keep our eyes on you. That Almighty God, while we're waiting, summer in your presence today for healing, bring it to pass. Summer in your presence today for a financial breakthrough, bring it to pass. Summer in your presence today, God, for an emotional storm to be healed. Oh, God, heal right now. We need you, God. Bless every family that is represented here today. God, we set up a prayer, not just for those who are in the parking lot and for this generation, but for generations to come. We pray for our children and their children, those who follow right down the generation line. Pray that everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Help them to know who Jesus is. And then, Almighty God, if we have anyone among us today who doesn't know Jesus as Lord and Savior, I want them to pray, to pray this prayer with me. Almighty God, I know I'm a sinner. I know I've messed up. I thank you for your salvation that came through your death and your resurrection. I thank you, Lord, for paying for my sins. Lord, I accept your forgiveness that you offer to me. I believe now by your stripes I am healed. I'm now saved. Now, God, help me to walk in the newness of life. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank you, Lord, for who you are. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Just take a few seconds worshiping God. so that you'll understand we're only going to be out here for about 45 minutes to 50 minutes. Amen. So that means we have to modify some things and change some things. And I want you to be patient with us as we work out certain elements. And one of the things I want all the leaders to do, leaders of different auxiliaries, to know that ministry is continuing. Do not stalemate doing what you have to do waiting for the pandemic to live. 
You have a conference line where you can call each other. You can have your meetings online. You can do Zoom. We are encouraging you to get up to speed with technology. Amen. So we thank God for all of you today once again. God bless you and God keep you. Let's give the benediction. May the grace of our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us. And as we depart this place, give a special blessing on all of those who attended, all of those who are watching. Pray a special blessing on all the givers for the ministry. Bless their giving. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you.